Hello friends, in this lecture we will discuss about the basic criteria to select an appropriate filter. We have examined five different approaches to remove noise or interference in a biomedical signal and they are the synchronized or we can say ensemble averaging of multiple realizations or copies of a signal, moving average filtering, frequency domain filtering, optimal or vina filtering and adaptive filtering. Now the first two approaches that is synchronized averaging and moving average filters, they work directly with the signal in the time domain. Frequency domain filtering is performed on the spectrum of the signal. The impulse response of a filter designed in the frequency domain could be used to implement the filter in the time domain as an infinite impulse response that is IER or finite impulse response that is FIR filter. The Weiner filter may be implemented either in the time domain as a transversal filter or in the frequency domain. Adaptive filters work directly on the signal in the time domain but dynamically alter the characteristics in response to changes in the interference. Their frequency response thus varies from one point in time to the another. Which type of filter to be selected and when? So we will discuss one by one each type of filter and when we can apply that particular filter. So starting with the synchronous or ensemble averaging is possible when the signal is statistically stationary quasi-periodic or we can say cyclostationary. Multiple realizations or copies of the signal of interest are available. A trigger point or time marker is available or can be derived to extract and align the copies of the signal. As we know that triggering and or lining of that particular point is very important in synchronous averaging. The noise is a stationary random process that is uncorrelated with the signal and has a zero mean or we can say a particular known mean. Now moving averaging is suitable when the signal is statistically stationary at least over the duration of the moving window. The noise is a zero mean random process which is again stationary at least over the duration of the moving window and is independent of the signal. The signal should be relatively slow or we can say low frequency phenomena. It is fast online real time filtering is required then we can go for moving averaging filter. Now frequency domain filtering is applicable when the signal is statistically stationary. The noise is a stationary random process that is statistically independent of the signal. The signal spectrum is limited in bandwidth compared to that of the noise or vice versa. Loss of information in the spectral band removed by the filter does not seriously affect the signal because it will involve some kind of loss of information. Online real time filtering is not required and if implemented in the spectral domain via the Fourier transform then we can apply for frequency domain filtering or we can go for frequency domain filtering. Now optimal Weiner filter can be designed if the signal is again statistically stationary. So this is the foremost requirement. The noise is a stationary random process and it is statistically independent of the signal. Specific deals or models are available regarding the autocorrelation function of the power spectral density of the signal and the noise. And we can see adaptive filtering is possible when the noise or interference is not stationary and not necessarily a random process. The noise is uncorrelated with the signal and no information is available about the spectral characteristics of the signal and noise which may overlap significantly. In that case, we can go for adaptive filtering. Also, a second source or recording site is available to obtain a reference signal because we know in adaptive filtering, we need a reference signal that is strongly correlated with the noise but uncorrelated with the signal. An adaptive filter acts as a fixed filter when it acts as a fixed filter when the signal and noise are stationary. An adaptive filter can also act as a notch or a comb filter when the interference is periodic. All of the above mentioned filters are applicable only when the noise is 
additive. So this is basically when we can say the noise is added into the signal. And if it is multiplication or kind of convolution we have studied, the techniques like homomorphic filtering may be used as a pre-processing step if signals combined with operations other than addition need to be separated that we have already seen how we can apply homomorphic filtering. So this is all in this lecture and again the reference uh, for this is Rangaraj M. Rangayan book. Thank you so much.